Hey guys, let's talk about the energy as we have it coming through this week to start our week, closing out the month of October, bridging us into the month of November. Now we're really in some very high energy still. Of course, we are coming out right now from a weekend where we had a full moon in Taurus. That was also a lunar eclipse, closing out a two-year eclipse cycle, actually. And we had Mars and Jupiter in exact opposition. This is some very amplified energy levels. Passions are probably running very high over the weekend but moving into this week we still have these amplified energy levels and this energy is actually going to be with us for a while that is because we now have the sun building into an exact opposition with jupiter which will happen on november 2nd so between now and then energy levels are still growing still increasing and the sun is also building into a conjunction with mars which is just gonna mirror this jupiter mars energy that we've been dealing with a lot now we also have mercury and mars coming to together as well to start our week this week while the moon in Gemini forms a square to Saturn this could be bringing up honestly like some heated debates arguments like fights conflicts going on in a very verbal way having to do with like uh, ideas, beliefs, philosophies, ideologies coming to a head, uh, creating some type of contention and maybe getting people all sort of whipped up. Uh, very primed in the energy field right now. And we just got a lot going on, you guys. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this energy in more detail as we close out October and as we begin to move towards the month of November. What are things looking like? What can we expect? And what does this week have in store for us? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today is Monday, October 30th, 2023. My name is Aubrey. This is your astrological outlook of the day where we are narrating the shift of the ages. If you guys stick with me till the end of the video, I've done a collective tarot reading for us as well. I like to tap the energy field from more than one modality whenever I'm doing these energy assessments just to sort of get an alternative energetic viewpoint on uh, what's going on in the energy field. So we're going to be doing that as well. There may be some messages in there for you, but let's get started with the astrology. You know, as I mentioned we are in a very big energy week we have the sun moving into the one yearly opposition to Jupiter the sun of course this is like our vital life force energy right this is the force that brings us to life and sustains us and when it comes into the opposition with Jupiter which expands and amplifies things this is going to be another transit that is bringing an amplified level of energy now this is going to be good for any type of like health issues okay as I said you know vigorous physical stuff going on vitality running high we should be feeling pretty good and I'm gonna tell you guys all week long actually moving into the no month of November all month long it's going to be very important to be physically active we have Mars now building into a conjunction with the Sun and this is an energy that's going to be present throughout the entire month of November when Mars is in a conjunction to the Sun it is very important that we move our physical body this it creates an uh, excessive amount of physical energy and if we are not using it it will get pent up and it will spew out in ways that are not constructive to us so and it really it also the sun and mars coming into a conjunction into another conjunction with one another this is a fresh start in a brand new mars sun cycle which is a time of new beginnings in what we're doing we're in a period of time right now we're in a two-week period of time right now you guys that is really like really all about like the end of one thing and moving into another thing this is the period between that full moon lunar eclipse that we just had that was closing out essentially a cycle that's been underway for the past two years that has been helping us to break karmic patterns essentially moving into this new moon that we have coming up in the sign of Scorpio that's going to be both in a conjunction to Mars and in opposition to Uranus representing some type of active personal revolution personal transformation I'm telling you guys between now the release point that full moon that we had on the 28th and the 13th when we have this new moon in um, Scorpio coming in this is the time to shed our skin this is the time to make our plans to make our preparations to gain the information and the insight we need to figure out what we're going to do to change ourselves in some way what what we are going to begin doing like what we're going to start a new cycle in or what we're going to how we're going to make personal improvements somehow or how we're going to like change ourselves for the better in such a way that we're going to really start acting on 
once this new moon in Scorpio comes in. And honestly, from where you're sitting right now and the way the energy is right now, you might be like, oh yeah, Ray, I don't feel like starting anything new. However, this is just going to be happening organically. Yes, we're talking about it. I'm explaining it because this is the energetic imprint coming through, but people with unconsciously with no knowledge of the astrology are going to be feeling compelled on some like very deep levels to start acting and behaving differently uh, or doing different things. I don't know, you know, exactly because we're dealing with Uranus, but it's going to be like shocking reveals, okay, of people's personal transformations that have gone on over the past two years, but specifically over this past couple of weeks between that moon, that full moon and this new moon coming up. So with this Jupiter energy and these heightened levels of energy we have going on, Jupiter also kind of like promises success and promises like positive and productive outcomes of stuff. So it's like if we are using this abundance of energy properly right now and properly with the Mars Jupiter energy and the Sun Jupiter energy is going to be in terms of some type of personal growth, some type of personal expansion, some type of personal insight or personal understanding or personal awareness that we are gaining and that we you're using to lead to some type of personal transformation or personal revolution that we are equally you know being called to align ourselves with moving towards this energy that is incoming this next couple of weeks okay so we're being given a huge dose of energy right now to do something to improve ourselves to change ourselves to realign ourselves to liberate ourselves something and there's also a huge dimension of creating value that's with Jupiter also in the sign of Taurus and all this Scorpio energy this is also like figuring out how to generate worth or how to generate wealth or how to generate value from potential from deep potential from deep reservoirs from deep wells of something um digging down discovering worth discovering value and figuring out, gaining insight about how to translate that into something physical and material. This is also a dimension of the energy as it's playing out right now. Okay, so we do have this big energy going on with the Jupiterian influence. Jupiter's a great benefic. This indicates times of good fortune, you know, good timing, like blessed outcomes, success. However, with the Mars influence, Jupiter expands things. This could equally be a time of like excessive rage and violence and attacks, especially Monday and Tuesday this week. There could be some real like ideological belief based combat going on um primarily most likely on a verbal level in terms of like i said maybe some like very heated or contentious debates between like you know philosophical or ideological or belief based situations because of the i mean <laughs> think about it let's break this down okay we have mercury and Mars, the messenger planet and the planet of war, but also passion, inspiration, courage, strength, right? In a conjunction to start our week, we also have the moon entering Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury and hitting a square at zero degrees to Saturn uh, in the sign of Pisces. This is a Gemini Pisces square. Gemini, of course, information, facts, what we're learning. Pisces, this is beliefs. This is also um, unconscious. This is fantasies. And this can also be like levels of brainwashing and stuff as well. Like there could uh, definitely just be some type of conflict, right? The moon in Gemini square Saturn in Pisces belief systems from the past coming up against what we're learning now perhaps and then with the ruler of the moon and the conjunction to Mars this could just be uh heated conversations about it and of course Mercury rules debates and with Mars there this could be very argumentative and you know in the sign of Scorpio as well this is like deep emotions that are motivating and driving a lot of perhaps the contention or the aggression or the passion that could be running high in this energy so you know I feel like this first couple of days of the week or the last couple of days of the month, uh, we're sort of prime time for maybe some verbal disputes going on or some actual disputes going on based on conflicting ideas and conflicting beliefs. Um, and there is the success of energy level, of course, and with Jupiter and the sun and Mars in opposition, aside from the opportunity right now and the potential for us to really gain some super expanded levels of self-awareness that kind of um, 
put us back on a, an accelerated course to personal growth and um, like overcoming some of our past limitations and difficulties in some type of way. There is an equally charged atmosphere again for uh, just some very like explosive out of control okay like unrestrained levels of like conflict anger um all of that type of stuff this is going to be a very highly highly active time and the best way to keep ourselves like on the straight and narrow i guess we could say over this period of time because it is you know passions are just running so high it's like the score it, 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 with the planets in scorpio as well it's like these deep compulsions or even like unconscious or psychic drives are just like these deep um urges emotional whatever emotional energy that's coming up that is fueling driving motivating and being very ex in a very expansive way a lot of the actions that were what we're doing okay and with the sun and mars coming together this is definitely putting like a highlight on the activities the actions that are going on there's also a very strong prominent masculine energy right now we could see some big things happening with masculine figures that are rising to a place of prominence right now um both on, on both sides of the mars octave both on like the 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 warrior the hero uh the knight in shining armor type of mars archetype but simultaneously like the lord of war you know aries Aries, Lord of the Battlefield, uh, war type of energy as well. So we got all archetypes of the Mars energy being amplified. And um, I'm telling you guys, like, you not keeping it contained within us is going to benefit us, especially also with this Mercury Mars energy that is just going to have people primed to be, like, snapping, okay, or just... um you know, throwing the verbal artillery, all right? Uh, words as weapons we definitely have going on when we have Mars and Mercury coming into a conjunction together. This is also very stubborn energy, right? This is also very willful energy. We're talking about the bull and we're talking about the scorpion. So, you know, do as you will with those two concepts in the midst of all of this energy as it's coming together. Rebelling against authority, rebelling against tradition, rebelling against the establishment. This is also a vibe right now, especially as we are moving into this very uh, personally revolutionary energy we have coming up this um, following month. But again, you know, two octaves of things, people feeling like large and in charge, on top of the world, very unstoppable, uh, limitless, very grandiose in this energy. And also on the other hand of things, like people feeling a, a greater sense of self-confidence, self-understanding that inspires them to trust and believe in themselves and to be able to like make a choice, take a risk to do something different, to be someone different, to create something new. So, you know, you may find yourself falling closer into one or one of those two categories but people are likely to be on one end of the spectrum or another in terms of how this is coming together lots of mental energy of course as well with the mercury mars energy mercury rules the mind what we're saying what we're talking about this is just it's such a busy energy words are probably going to be like coming through quickly um and there's probably some heated news cycles maybe very fast news cycles and stuff going on right now as well but personally with this mind on fire energy i think that we should use it especially in the sign of scorpio for research okay for figuring things out problem solving creating remedies creating solutions tying up loose ends right drilling to the core of things like really um like <laughs> kind of going around the symptoms and getting like right to the root of the problem okay looking at things on a deeper level it's we we are give, being given and also throughout the course of the month of November it's like we are being given both like a top down and a bottom up view of things so that we're really being gifted with this opportunity to gain a tremendously deeper and also more elevated layer and level of understanding about stuff this Jupiter energy is expanding our viewpoint it's helping us to gain a higher perspective like the ver bird's eye view of things like see the higher overall purpose of things but simultaneously this mercury and scorpio energy is giving us like penetrating insight like x-ray vision like helping us to really uh see through to the core so when we have both of those happening 
in congruence with one another it's like we can see the x-ray but we can also see the blueprint you know what i mean and when we combine those if we're paying attention we are it, it, it's just the recipe okay for us to really figure some things out that are going to promote our ability to make some significant personal changes which is the next page of the cosmic blueprint where we're moving towards and like I was saying, if you feel yourself like feeling compelled to just do something different as we move through this next couple of weeks, this is the skin shedding period of time. And once we get to the new moon, November 13th, that will be the launch pad for this redesigned version of ourselves that we're going to be using moving forward throughout this next phase of growth at least through the transit of mars through aries over this next year year and a half or so so we're definitely riding high again this week you guys stay active make plans to change something to fix something to make something better about yourself your environment your life somehow solving problems tying up loose ends like i said resolving past issues letting things go and people go who don't resonate with us anymore or who don't recognize our value see that's like the sort of the other side of this coin of this personal transformation going on it is also has to do with this value that we are discovering uh deep within somehow or the worth okay practicing self-awareness as well as my ultimate tip for this week and also moving through the month of november as well which you guys i actually did my november overview yesterday November is going to be a crazy month. Uh, that was probably like the longest video I've ever done. And it took me like the longest time to prep for any video that I've ever done either. Is there, there is, um, we're going to be processing a lot, you guys, by the time that we get to the end of November, it is going to be a wild month. And like I said, uh, come mid month when we have that new moon coming up, there are definitely going to be some unexpected <laughs> changes going on so all that being said though that's what i have to say for today let's talk about the tarot message as it's coming through this is a very simple concept simple message but it really makes all the sense in the world as well um this is talking about the tarot cards are talking about figuring out how to make money or figuring out how to create value or figuring out how to take an opportunity and make it grow into something stable or something of value, um, committing ourselves maybe to a project that we're working on. This is definitely referring to though, like the undeniably so, uh, pursuing some idea or some insight that comes to us right now in a way that will lead to uh, some type of successful and abundant outcome on a material level let's talk about it the cards that we had coming out of the deck we had the ace of pentacles we have the queen of pentacles we have the ten of pentacles this is all about a progression of value building something creating something generating something um like extracting value from something and then the other two cards that we had coming out and on the back of the deck we have the knight of swords and we have the page of swords and then even underneath that we have the the two of swords so all of these swords cards and all of these pentacle cards of course even the knight and the page the the page of swords this is about like getting a new idea or learning something new and then the knight of swords this is about like there could also be like a messenger or like someone telling you something, someone delivering a message to you somehow, or like giving you an idea or telling you something that gives you a light bulb moment. This could come through some type of uh, like messenger type of situation with the knight, the deliverer of knowledge, the deliverer of information, the the rider coming to bear some type of message. And then also, you know, with the, with the two of sorts going on there as well, that's another message about or another um yeah a symbolic reference to these ideas and maybe needing to make some type of decision or choice uh to do something different even maybe perhaps we can't see the whole outcome at this point in time but to you know to choose something maybe before we can see how it will even go but with these cards coming out i mean the ace of pentacles the queen of pentacles the ten of pentacles it's like whatever idea that is or whatever new vision that is or whatever uh message that is or whatever information that is that we're gaining right now like there's something about it that could help to grow wealth or that could help to grow value or that could help to stabilize things in a way where they can become like flourishing and abundant and stuff like that. So, you know, really, I'm not going to keep 
going over and over this, it's very, very obvious. We're talking about uh, an idea or information that we're coming across that is inspiring some new beginning or some new project or some new like idea that is valuable that can grow into some type of successful productive and abundant physical tangible outcome so with jupiter right now in the sign of taurus and all of this scorpio energy again like that's a lot of what this is about too is like digging for like getting to the root of the value of something or figuring out how to create and generate value out of things like i was saying earlier so interesting the way those cards came together now let's get a synchronicity card god spirit universe what do we need to know what should we keep in mind as we're starting our week this week what is um good information so we actually had two cards coming out and i feel like they're both super appropriate so i'm going to read both of them the first card that we have is go within for peace and we really uh the nature of this card the advice of this card is seems very specific to the times that we're in right now especially with this mars mercury energy and the all the jupiter op opposing mars energy pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the lord hebrews 12:14. When discord or disharmony is raging around you, go within yourself and be thankful for the grace of God within you. Say thank you for restoring peace to my life. Smile, bless all, and continue to your goal. Excellent advice for the energy this week. And the second card says, be yourself. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Philippians 2.3 you must remain free from pretension. Do not try to fool anyone, particularly yourself. With true understanding comes humility and you will do all for the glory of God and great and wonderful blessings will come to you. With Jupiter opposite Mars, with Jupiter opposite the sun, we really can't hide our personal truth in this energy. And that's another reason why a lot of people are probably like spiraling out of control. Like people who do have and act with very little self-awareness and who do you know act and live their lives from a very like ego-based state that is going to become and with very like little self-control and stuff like that like that is going to be very apparent in this energy with people's inability to handle the enhanced you know energy levels that are just permeating through everything right now so you know we want to go within we want to maintain our peace right we want to channel this energy properly we want to not when discord or disharmony is raging around you go within yourself and be thankful for the grace of god within that is like key prime time advice right now and not hiding from our personal truth so that's what we have today you guys go within for peace and be yourself message from the stars message from the cards i hope you guys liked it i hope there was something in there for you if you guys did like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel you guys share it with your friends if you think they would be um interested in this type of astrology content as well leave me comments you guys i'm so grateful for all of you i really appreciate knowing how energy is affecting you out there and if you are having experiences that match up with what i'm talking about in these videos please let me know in my comment section below if you want to know what's on this whiteboard it is i post them in a facebook group that i have have. And you can find that link in my description box below and come back with me next time you guys I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to be putting out the video for the first of November energy or if I'm going to put out the November overview first I haven't really decided but it's going to be one of one or two of those videos and whatever one I put out Wednesday the other one will be out on Friday so um come back with me you guys I will be here you don't want to miss these next videos you really don't want I'm not just because I made it not just because it's my channel but I really think that everybody if you want should come back and watch this November overview because like I said it's going to be a journey over the course of the next month and it just might benefit you even though we are moving into energy that is highly unpredictable to um just have a general sense of you know how things things are going to be operating whether or not we can truly call exactly what's going to be happening so um i will be here to tell you guys about all of that and you should be here too i will see you next time guys have a beautiful start to your week and until then bye